Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the fifth grade patriotic program featuring the fifth grade class of 2019. We have spent time researching our family's participation in the history of the United States. Some of them will be shared in our program today. Listen as we share the true stories of our ancestors who helped make our country what it is today. We hope the choices we make today will continue to make the land, the people, the government, and the ideals of America the best it can be. Giving the crew enough time to rescue me with a boat hook. 
I worked closely with Governor Carver to help find the Plymouth Colony. My wife Elizabeth and I had 10 children. My posterity includes George H. W. Bush, his son George W. Bush, Edith Roosevelt, and Ralph Waldo Emerson. John Howland, 12th great grandfather of Logan Robbins. Tis a gift to be simple, tis a gift to be free, tis a gift to come down where we ought to be. And when we find ourselves in the place just right, to be in the valley of love and delight.
1924 in Ramsey, England. I moved to Massachusetts and married George Martin. On April 30th, 1692, I was arrested and charged for being a witch. My trial was based on lies told by Cotton Mather. On July 19th, I was hung for being a witch. Susanna North Martin, ninth grade grandmother of Lexi Ireland. I was born in 1767 in the Wax House region between North Carolina and South Carolina. I was a lawyer and a landowner. I became a national war hero by defeating the British in the Battle of New Orleans in the War of 1812. I beat out John Adams to become the seventh president of the United States in 1828. Andrew Jackson, eighth great grandfather of Caleb Weaver. I served in the War of 1812 which was a war with Britain over trade, among other things. Later, I joined with members of my church to settle in Kirtland, Ohio, then on to Missouri, and finally, Ogden, Utah, as we fled religious persecution. Benjamin Hall, fifth great grandfather of Ruby Swallow. Seventh grade 
great-grandfather of Haley Marston. <coughs> The Constitution or Blueprint was governing for our nation during the Revolutionary War. Um, the government was unable to collect or obtain taxes. States printed their own money, <coughs> made treaties with foreign governments, and charged tariffs on goods from the other states. <coughs> Representatives were chosen from each state to address the many problems. Led by James Madison, they approved the United. They approved the Constitu Constitution of the United States. <laughs>
even before General Lee surrendered, I was shot by the friendly fire of a Union sentry because I couldn't remember the password to re-enter our camp. Augustus Roof, brother of fifth great grandfather of MVP. I attended West Point where I graduated with second in my class. I still hold the record for never having to marry. I married Mary Custis, President George Washington's granddaughter. I fought for the United States in the Mexican War in 1845, that, where I later became brothers in arms with Ulysses S. Grant. Who knew that I would later surrender to him on the steps of Appomattox Courthouse to end the Civil War? Robert E. Lee, fifth great grandfather of Madison White. Teaching 